Hey guys, my name is Stephen Beecham, and here's what's happening this week on CNET's Crave Blog. The beautification robot applies makeup to human faces, but as you can see, it does a terrible job. Two students from the University of Applied Arts in Vienna, Austria, created the makeup bot to show the world that robots are not always the best solution for everyday tasks on this planet. Sometimes it takes a human touch. The beautification robot was on display at the 2015 Biennale International Design in Saint Etienne, France. The robot has two arms, one for holding the makeup brush that smears black streaks on your face, enhancing human sexiness, and another arm that holds a tube of lipstick and rotates on a wheel, applying the perfect circle of lipstick to the user. German filmmaker and volcano enthusiast Mark Seglat was lucky enough to witness and capture a lightning storm generated by the Sakurajima volcano during an eruption earlier this month in Japan. Volcanic lightning, otherwise known as a dirty thunderstorm, is very rare, but for some reason this particular volcano seems to produce a lot of it, making it a great place to study the phenomenon. This video was posted on Barcroft TV's YouTube channel, so if you get a chance, check it out. Now you can get your kicks with these LED embedded kicks from Japanese startup No New Folk Studio. ORF is a programmable performance shoe containing 100 full-color, remotely controlled LEDs outfitted with advanced motion sensors and a wireless Bluetooth module. Your dance moves will never be the same. The shoes connect to an app via Bluetooth so a user can jam the color of your shoes as you bust a move on the dance floor. The shoes can also be set to respond a certain way to the wearer's movements. The LED shoes contain nine axis sensors embedded in each sole, which pick up the wearer's movements in real time. This data can then be used to wirelessly control various external devices such as musical instruments, video game controllers, and simple foot switches. You can get your own pair of ORF LED smart shoes for an early bird pledge of $270 at Indiegogo.com. Science fiction is catching up with reality as we try to wrap our heads around this Terminator-like 3D printer that slowly renders objects from a pool of liquid. A startup called Carbon 3D is showing off their new style of 3D printing called CLIP, or Continuous Liquid Interface Production. The CLIP technology uses photosensitive resin that reacts to UV light and oxygen, producing objects that grow out of a Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtle-like ooze as the printer slowly raises them upward. Now it might take me all day to explain exactly how this works, but according to the Carbon 3D website, At the heart of the CLIP process is a special window that is transparent to light and permeable to oxygen, much like a contact lens. By controlling the oxygen flux through the window, CLIP creates a dead zone in the resin pool, just tens of microns thick, about two to three diameters of a red blood cell, where photopolymerization cannot occur. As a series of cross-sectional images of a 3D model is played like a movie into the resin pool from underneath, the physical object emerges continuously from just above the dead zone. Read more about the Carbon 3D printer in the Crave blog post. All right, guys, that's the show. Thank you very much for watching. As always, you can find all these news stories at CNET's Crave blog at crave.cnet.com. Make sure you follow Crave on Twitter at Crave and check out this week's Crave giveaway. This week's Crave giveaway is the Tilt Gear Charging Backpack plus more mobile gear. The spacious Tilt Energy Plus Pack doubles as a mobile charging station. Open it up and you'll find more prizes inside. Go to the blog and enter to win.